Hi everybody, today we will talk about SMC in SAP Solution Manager. SMC is, uh, the settings we do in SMC is used for implementation and template projects, change management to monitor change requests, system monitoring and incident management and also in maintenance optimizer maintenance transactions. So in a, in a system landscape, we can create servers, databases, product systems, technical systems and also create logical components, specify and assign attributes to landscape components, create non-SAP products, analyze uh, system landscape by components and also we can generate solution manager keys. Uh, and also in this example you will see that there are a lot of servers and databases, also product systems created. So in this example, uh, we can uh, I show you how to move from uh, SMC to other T codes like Solar Project, uh, Solar Project Admin, Solar 01, Solar 02, DSWP, and STCCN. And also we can analyze the whole system landscape by going to utilities and analyze. Let me log in into a solution manager server. So I log in as Don and so when I log in I type the C code SMC. So I see my servers, databases, product system that are already created. So if I go to ECC I can see all the ECC servers here, product systems here. Let me delete it, which I don't want. And also I have new here, I delete it. If I want to create a new uh, server, I right click here, create a new server. Then I can give a name Uwin Pro. That is the server name. I can check whether it is usable, no errors found. Then I can save it. Then I go to, the, if I want, I can make some entries here, which is relevant to that server. Then I go to the databases, create new database. So I will say UWI, save it, then I go to the product systems and I create product system using assistant. So it will ask for the product systems name, so I use the same name uh, UWI and the short descript description is for training purposes. And SAP product, I can I have I have I have different products here. So I select SAP ECC. So I selected SAP ECC. Then I selected this version. Then continue. Then I'm saying that this is an ECC server. Continue. Uh, system number I use so here and say zero one. And message server name is Uwin Pro. And continue. Uh, I'm going to use client 800. Don't worry about that now. So I complete it. So if I go to my ECC systems, I will see the one I created just now. So this is what I entered. I have not assigned, I have not created any RFC connections between the other systems. I didn't create a logical system for this. If I want, I can create logical systems and assign to this. In this example, I, we have assigned uh, uh, the logical system component and also we have created RFC connections 
uh, to solution manager as well if I want to like I, I entered the information about this server but if I want to install this server I have to get a solution manager key so what I do is I go to product instance other object and then I say generate solution manager key so it can generate I can go to environments and I can go to different uh, programs, different uh, uh, programs from here. So if I do project administration, I go to the screen solar project admin. So where I can create projects. We have created two projects here. If I click on a project, so we have information about that project. I can go to solar zero one. So I can create my business or change my business blueprint. If I want to do configuration after that, I have to go to solar zero two and I can do the configuration. Yeah. And I also, I also can go to Solution Manager, DSWP. So this is DSWP or Sol. All this can be done here. So for all this functionality, I have to configure SMC first. I can go to service data service data control center administration. So if you have configured that, I can see the system IDs and clients and all those information here. I can edit RFC destination. I can uh, job overview and so on. If suppose I click on this item and then say where you we click on where use list, uh, it doesn't have anything there because it's, I just created. If I click on this, system where use list, dev system, so it's used for various projects. So it's used for a project called DSRPR1 and another project called DSRPR3 and also the logical components is used in those logical components if I want to go to if I want to see the other systems in my landscape I can click here So these are the systems in the landscape. These are these are the all systems created in the landscape. If I want, I can make some changes. Select by products. Select by project header data. So this is what I wanted to tell you today. Thank you very much. Bye.